Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, what is the Wheatstone Bridge? Obtain the necessary conditions under which the Wheatstone Bridge is balanced. So the problem is based on a particular measuring instrument, the Wheatstone Bridge. This particular instrument is used to measure the unknown resistance in terms of some known resistances. So we can define the Wheatstone Bridge as an instrument an instrument basically this is a null type instrument so null type an instrument used to measure some unknown resistance unknown resistance in terms of three known resistances connected in a bridge configuration. So the resistances are connected in a bridge configuration. So this is the circuit diagram of a Wheatstone bridge. I am drawing the circuit diagram. So this particular bridge consists of four resistances. One of the resistor is unknown here and three of them are known here. So let us call them as R1, R2, R3, R4. This is the battery to energize this particular circuit. And this is the galvanometer used to sense the null condition. Null condition means that no current passing through this particular galvanometer. So under that particular condition, the bridge is said to be balanced. And we have to find out that particular condition in terms of the relation between these resistances. So now let this particular battery is having an EMF of E. It is delivering a current I in this particular arrangement. Suppose I1 current passes here, I2 current passes here, I3 current passes through R3 and I4 current passes through I4 and IG is the galvanometer current passing through the galvanometer and in the null condition this is zero. Let us call the nodes as A, B, C, D respectively. Then applying the KVL for the loop A, B, D, A. For the loop A, B, D, A, we can apply the KVL. So according to this particular loop, I2, R2 plus IG times the resistance of the galvanometer. IG times the resistance of the galvanometer. Then this particular loop is traversed in this manner. So we have taken the reference direction like this, the clockwise direction and it is opposing the I1 current. So that is why minus I1 R1 and this is equal to 0. So this is the first equation which we can simplify as IG 0 in the balance condition. So we put it as 0. So we can say that I2 R2 is equal to I1 R1 or we can say that I2 upon I1 is equal to R1 by R2. This is our equation number one. Similarly, for the loop B, C, D, B, for the loop B, C, D, B, we can apply the KVL as we have applied here. So according to KVL, I3, R3, then minus I4, R4, then minus IG into RG is equal to zero. Now, as we have done in the previous case, IG is equal to zero. So it means that this term is zero. And we can see that I3 R3 is equal to I4 R4. Now you can easily see that if there is no current in the galvanometer, then I2 current passes through R3. Or in other words, we can say that I2 equals to I3. Similarly, I1 current passing through the R1 resistance 
is same as the current passing through R4 because though no current is passing in this galvanometer, so the overall current I1 passes through R1. So we can say that I4 is equal to I1. So in this way, we can put the value of I3 as I2 and we can put the value of I4 as I1. And we can find out the ratio I2 by I1 is equal to R4 by R3 and call it as equation number 2. Now comparing these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, we can easily see that R4 upon R3 is equal to R1 by R2. So this is the particular condition for the bridge, bridge to be in the balanced state. Or in other words, if we choose this resistance R1 as an unknown resistance, then R1 is equal to R2 times R4 by R3, where R2, R4 and R3 are the known resistances. So this is the particular formula to calculate the unknown resistance R1 in terms of other resistances and this is the derivation. So hope you understand the derivation for the V-stone base to be in the balanced state. Thank you.